As a Salesforce admin, you will spend most of your time with your heads in the clouds, excuse the pun. But there'll be times when you need to venture back down to earth and use other types of tools to get the job done. As most Salesforce professionals will know, Excel or Google Sheets are invaluable tools when it comes to mass data manipulation. And there are many instances such as new Salesforce implementations where spreadsheets are vital. In this video, we'll go through 11 handy features that will make data manipulation a breeze as a Salesforce admin. And I must give Stacey O'Leary a shout out who originally wrote this article on salesforceburn.com. First up, an increasingly important feature as Salesforce orgs get more mature, the Find Duplicates feature. To work with this feature, simply highlight the column you want to find duplicates in, click Conditional Formatting, and then Highlight Cell Rules, followed by Duplicate Values, then click OK. Now you can see the values that are repeated in this column. After you've found duplicates, it's up to you how you want to deal with them. But most of the time, you want to merge if there is a good amount of data across both rows. Next is the ability to find text that contains something. Something that is almost as bad as importing duplicates is importing non-marketable people, perhaps people that work at your own company or if there happens to be competitors on your list. Using the same steps as above, by going to conditional formatting, then highlighting cell rules, and then text that contains, we're able to search for specific keywords such as your own domain name or competitors. This is great for also finding Gmail, Yahoo, or Hotmail addresses that you may not want in Salesforce. A nifty feature that ensures that all data is properly prepared in your spreadsheet before importing it into Salesforce is called text to columns. As an example, Salesforce wants to have the first name and last name in separate fields. So we need to ensure the columns are prepared as such. You can also use this feature to separate out addresses into the relevant fields such as city and zip code. Simply highlight the columns you want to separate and go to your data tab in Excel, then click text to columns. Then you need to select how you want to split up the data, which will also show you a preview. When you click finish, the magic will happen right in front of your eyes. Concatenate is the opposite of text to columns. In some cases, Salesforce wants the data in just a single field, like a phone number. This feature involves writing an Excel formula that is pretty simple, and it goes like this equals concatenate and then all of the stuff I want to go smoosh goes together in here, separated by commas. Whatever text you want to add, including spaces, should be added in quotes and separated by commas. In this example, my area code and phone are in separate cells and I want them combined, but also formatted with parentheses around the area code. And now you have the cell phone number in one cell, which can come into one field in Salesforce. Just make sure to relabel your column header for the column you want to keep. Next, Paste Special is a great feature that actually applies to many other pieces of software, such as word processors. It can be used to change exactly what values are pasted. For example, from our previous example with Concatenate, if we were to simply press copy and paste, the formula would move across, not the data. This is why when we copy the data, we need to right click and select paste special. This will bring up a pop-up. We can then select to simply paste the values and not the formatting. VLOOKUP could be one of the most used formulas, but possibly one of the most frustrating when you don't get it right. And yes, I am speaking from personal experience. VLOOKUP is a great tool when you need to quickly find data to fill a field, but don't want to go searching for the values one by one. Let's say you have a list of leads from a trade show that includes the state of the lead and not the country. You won't be able to import that since the state dropdown is dependent on a country dropdown. I need the country column filled out, but I don't want to go to the list and populate each one by hand. Now is the time to use VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is a quick way to populate a bunch of cells all at once from a single reference point. You'll need a couple of things to get started. The list you want to populate with the data, the list that has the data you need, and in our example, which states belong to which countries. So now we have two tabs on our spreadsheet, the list import that we need to scrub, and also the reference list where we're gonna find the missing data, which in this case is country. The reference list is also where you're gonna find the value that you need, so this will need to be prepared. On the list, you need to scrub and sort the column you're going to be searching alphabetically. That would be our state column in this example. Do the same on the reference list. Sort alphabetically by the value you're searching for. 
Now we're ready to actually begin the VLOOKUP process. What the formula is going to do is search for the value that you tell it to, find it on the reference list and return with whatever you tell it to. For me personally, it helps to think of the formula as a series of questions that I need to answer. Here you can see how the formula works broken out. The first cell value, C2, is the value we're searching for. The next part tells the formula where to look for this value, which in this case is the other sheet we're using. Next up, we need to tell the formula which column to find it in, which in this case is the second column. Finally, we need to tell the formula whether we want an exact match or not, which in this case we do. So in Excel, here's what it really looks like. Once the formula is working in the first cell, just drag it down to all the cells you need to fill. Now with a larger list, you'll want to sort by column D and resolve any errors. In this case, I have one misspelled province, so I'll just go ahead and fix that one manually. Now our country column is filled out. But wait, your list is not ready to import just yet. If you click on any of the values in column D, you'll see the formula rather than the actual country. On column D, just copy the entire column and then do paste, special, and values. Save it as a CSV and you're done. There are a lot of tutorials online that explain how to do VLOOKUP, but not many that explain things in the context of a sales admin's work. So I hope this helps you out. Next, we have a function called proper. Sometimes you might get a list of data that looks like this, which is very messy and can cause havoc in your Salesforce instance. If you were to be sent an automated email from a business with this kind of data, customers will know that it's automated and it doesn't look like they care much about their data. Lucky for those of us who are Salesforce admins, but not Excel experts, this is a very easy fix. The formula is simple. The same function can be used for any text field but use caution if you're gonna use on something like account name or company name on the lead object. Certain companies may be in all caps. For example, HSBC is the most commonly spelt with all capital letters. Similarly, I'll share the functions for converting the entire cell to upper or lower case. They're equally as simple and can be seen here. Easy, right? Then we have the len. Len is a helpful feature that allows you to count the number of characters in a field. This is particularly useful if you need to evaluate the lengths of some fields before a mass import. As for example, some standard fields have a character limit such as opportunity name and next step field. Len is a pretty simple formula to use where you need to include the formula and the field you wish to count. You can even include conditional formatting to clearly show you if it's above a certain number. Next, it's important to know how to extract an email domain from an email list. You may find yourself in a situation where you need to extract a domain from an email list to ensure the website field is populated correctly. Here we can use a few formulas, including write. This returns the last character or characters in a text string based on the number of characters you specify. We'll also use len to count the number of characters of the cell and then find the exact position of the at symbol within the string. This comes together like the following. Lastly, we're stepping back from all these interesting and useful formulas as there's a lot you can do to improve data quality just by formatting your cells properly and knowing what type of values sales will expect to see for each field type. Knowing what to do with leading zeros is an example of this. In the corresponding article on salesforceben.com, Stacy has put together a fantastic guide on formatting fields for CSVs that will help you when uploading data into Salesforce. Make sure you check it out in the description below. These tips only scratch the surface of everything you can do in Excel. Knowing how to fix data on a spreadsheet before you import is just one of the steps to ensuring your org maintains the highest data quality in the long term. To be a Salesforce admin, you have to be highly knowledgeable about Salesforce, but there are a lot of other skills required to be successful. You are now equipped with new Excel skills that are incredibly easy to learn and incredibly helpful for getting through your admin workload and will really impress your users. Please share in the comments below ideas for your favorite Salesforce Excel fixes.